Now, ideally, as boys and young men, we have fathers and or father figures that will pass down nuggets of knowledge, wisdom, and help us develop skill sets that will enable us to better navigate life's ups and downs. But no matter how good a job old dad did, he probably didn't cover everything. That's where Uncle Jeff steps in. On today's video, I'm going to share with you 10 very important things I believe your father should have taught you. If you're new here, welcome. Jeff, your style OG. On this channel, we discuss various men's lifestyle topics, such as style, grooming, and dating, every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern. I invite you to subscribe, tap the notification bell, and join us. And to my returning friends, like Junior Toussaint, salute. Now, first up on the list of 10 things I believe your father should have taught you, he should have taught you how to negotiate. Now, in my opinion, this is one of life's most underrated skills. Disputes are going to arise, both personally and professionally. You have to have the ability to resolve them in a productive way that maintains your relationships. You want to be able to figure out ways to have resolutions that are win-win. How do you do that? First of all, go into any negotiation with respect and seeking fairness. Second, listen. Listen carefully. I suggest you listen more than you talk. You want to listen to try to understand the other person's needs and wants. You also need to go into it knowing what your deal breakers are, how much you're willing to give. And I also believe you should make the first offer and one of the best things you can do, always be willing to walk away. Next up on the list of 10 things your father should have taught you, he should have taught you how to manage your finances. Now in my traditional way of looking at things, a man has two primary jobs, to provide and protect. You can't do that without first acquiring resources and then effectively managing said resources. How do you go about that? First step, establish your budget. Keep track of for a few months exactly what comes in and how much you spend on expenses. Do this for around three months and then average it out. Now you have your budget. Now that you know your budget, save up about six to nine months of your monthly expenses. This is your emergency fund. After you've done that, pay down your debts, and then the next step, invest for your future. And one important thing I can't leave out, maintain and establish good credit. Make sure you're paying your bills on time and maintain low credit card balances. Now with this being the Style OG channel, this next tip probably won't surprise you. I believe your father should have taught you that style matters. Many guys just don't realize how important style is. When people first see you, they judge you on two things, how you carry yourself and what you have on. One of the great things about curating your style, you get to control your own narrative without saying a word. You get to have a great input on people's first impressions of you. you. Can't get around in life people judging you. Before they get to know you, they see you first. And when you pay attention to your style, you get to decide what people see. And another great benefit of style, men that are dressed well feel and project more confidence. And well-dressed men are just taken more seriously. Being well-dressed will open many doors. It will bring interest from other people and opportunity. Now I wanna take a little time to talk to you about today's video sponsor, Manscaped, and one of their exciting new products, the Beard Hedger Beard Trimmer. The Beard Hedger is a premium beard sculpting machine with enough power and precision to craft your style in a single swipe. And I'm talking about whether you have a full beard, stubble, or anything in between. The Beard Hedger comes with a titanium coated steel T blade that it gives you the ability to choose from 20 different lengths selected with the zone wheel. Its built in comb lies flat, lifting hairs for smooth one stroke trimming. With the Manscaped Beard Hedger, you have a top of the line premium beard sculpting machine. Now, not only did Manscaped sponsor today's video, they've got a special offer for the Style OG family. When you go to manscaped.com slash style and enter my discount code styleog, you get 20% off plus free shipping or just use the QR code on the screen. If you're in the market for a premium beard trimmer, I highly recommend you hit that link in the description and grab yourself Manscaped's Beard Hedger. Now next up is something I wish I would have learned a lot earlier. is that the best ability is availability. The great thing about the ability of availability, it's a talent that's in your control. You can control if you're the guy people can depend on. You can control when you say you're gonna do something, you do it. When you say you're gonna be somewhere, you show up. You often find that one of the key components of success is consistency. Being consistent builds great habits and it develops trust from other people. You may not be the fastest, the smartest, the strongest, but if you show up all the time, you will succeed. It's often said that hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work. Here's another great thing about being consistent and showing up. 
The more you show up, the better habits you develop, you actually become more talented. Be the man that people can depend on. Be consistent. Your best ability, availability. Now here's another one a lot of guys probably should be taught a lot sooner from their fathers. You need to understand when it comes to women, you should pursue them, not chase them. Now like it or not, all of us have on the job training, trial and error when it comes to the ladies. But a lot of the error comes from chasing. On this channel, I often try to explain the difference between pursuing and chasing. I never believe you should stand back and wait for women to come to you. Men are proactive. Go out and pursue the woman you want. But here's the thing, pursue a woman you're interested in and one who reciprocates said interest. Do not chase women. If a woman does not reciprocate your interest or you can't detect it, she's probably not interested. Or there's a simple cure. Let your romantic interest be known. Let her know, hey, I want to date you. That's a great way to stay out of the friend zone. Pursue the woman you've identified as your target. Don't chase. Things that are being chased don't want to be caught. Next up on the list of 10 things your father should have taught you, basic car maintenance. Now the great thing is, you don't have to be a mechanic to get the most out of your car or truck. If your dad taught you some maintenance basics, you'll be well on your way to getting the most out of your vehicle. Few things I recommend you know, changing your headlight bulb. Keep some spare bulbs around. You can change them quicker than you can drive your car to the mechanic. Also, I want you to know how to replace your windshield wiper blades when they start the street. Learn how to measure both your tire pressure and tire tread depth, how to jump a dead battery, and how to change your engine's air filter. One of the things I think is vitally important for a man to know, the importance of doing hard things. It's just an unavoidable fact that growth and development occurs outside of your comfort zone. The more you challenge yourself, the more you get out of life. The more you're lazy, lack effort, and make excuses, you handicap yourself. Doing hard things has so many benefits. One, it makes you stronger, mentally and physically. It helps you build resilience. The harder the things you go through, the easier it is to face hard things later down the road. Doing hard things and overcoming obstacles builds your confidence level. On top of that, doing hard things makes you smarter. You become smarter by problem solving. That's what happens when you challenge yourself to do difficult tasks. Doing hard things requires you to plan, strategize, and adapt all useful skills throughout your life. Now next up is the cliche I believe your father should have taught you. If you're the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room. It's often said, and I wholeheartedly agree, you're the average of the five people you spend the most time around. If you want to improve in any area in your life, you need to be around people that will bring you up, challenge you to get better. You want to be around people that have different skill sets, ideas, perspectives, and points of view. When you're the smartest person in the room, it can lead to an inflated ego and complacency. And when you're in the room with smarter people, listen more than you talk. You want to be teachable, trainable, and coachable. And no matter what room you're in, whether you're the smartest or not the smartest, always maintain your humility. I also believe your dad should have taught you the importance of building and maintaining your reputation. You remember earlier we talked about in the video that you want to be the man people can depend on? This matters. It matters what people think of you, both personally and professionally. Your reputation is a measure of your social influence. Do you behave in a way that benefits your social circle? When you say you're going to do something, do you do it? And do you do it when you said you were going to do it? Another great way to build and maintain your reputation, be accountable. When it's your fault, say so. Do not be someone who passes the buck and shifts blame to other people. A great way to build your reputation, actively listen to other people and practice empathy. Another great thing to do, be yourself, be authentic, be genuine. Next up is something I believe is very underrated and many need to hear much more often. Life is about people. You often hear from people, especially guys like me, you should be on your purpose. Keep your head down, get the job done. Yes, these are very important traits for a man to have, but what's just as important, nurturing and developing relationships. Human beings, and yes, that includes men, are social creatures. Develop and maintain relationships with friends, family, romantic interests. It's just the fact the vast majority of us will not be happy as lone wolves. I believe you should work hard, but I also believe you should play just as hard. You want to have work-life balance. Work-life balance leads to fulfillment and it actually 
makes you healthier. Relationships help you reduce stress and anxiety. Men with an active social life have lower levels of depression and relationships help you to sharpen your memory and your cognitive skills. Yes, you will always hear from me the importance of being on your purpose, but just as important knowing that life is about people.